Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Thomas Klein. I'm an expert in uh, new business generation, positioning and scaling up my clients, which are usually software developers or in a broader sense from the IT industry. And I help them a lot to scale up their businesses, yeah, whether they are at the total beginning, uh, freelancers or small startups or already have like 10 or 20 employees or even bigger ones. My, one of my biggest clients, 2021, was a um, sister company of Volkswagen with like more than 1,000 employees. And in this um, video, I I'd like to share with you a story. So the other day, a friend of mine, which is like an IT security um, service provider from Munich, um, came to me and said, Thomas, um, I would like to do more marketing. Can you give me some tips? And I said, well, IT security is not really my, my area anymore. I'm more specialized now in, into software development. Like back in the days, like several years ago, I've, I've been doing like several areas in um, working with several clients from different areas in the IT industry. Right now I'm specialized even more like niching down to just specific um, topics within the IT industry such as software development and, and there's like four or three, three to four different areas within that um, domain of software development that I have my clients usually um, working in or let's say scaling up in these areas. So if you want like more information about that just contact me. Um, in this video, I just want to talk about a friend of mine who approached me and he said, well, Thomas, um, I have this, um, I found this lead generation agency and they're going to do like uh, lead generation for me. And um, yeah, and I said, wow, that's great uh, because I don't want to do like IT security really anymore. Uh, so please go ahead and do it with the other agency. But then see it. He said, like, mm, can you give me a tip if that's a good deal? And I said, like, well, I don't really have so much time right now, but because you're a friend of mine, he's here from in Munich, like in uh, Sendling. Yeah. Um, he's a mid-sized company, not too big, but it's mid-sized. But I've been knowing him like for many, many years, and he's also like uh, Hungarian roots. And uh, yeah, and so he um, said, well, this, this marketing lead generation agency uh, offers me like a deal where they generate leads for me like they and one lead costs me 250 euros and so like okay 250 euros yeah, okay um what does that tell you and then he said well that's that's a good price and i said well no it doesn't tell you that this is a good price because it doesn't tell you nothing yeah if you say okay and that's how a lot of lead generation agencies back in the days um, still some around like working like this, I don't know. Um, but it's been really, really old school style. I like to say like, okay, I'm a lead generation agency and I do make you some leads and I'm gonna charge per lead 250 euros, 350 euros, 700 euros, uh, 980 euros or whatever. So what, what does that tell me about whether that, that's a good agency or whether that's a good deal or whether that's a good campaign or whatever? Nothing at all, nothing at all. Because just to say, okay, I'm going to do leads for you and I'm going to charge you X amount of for these leads, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't give me anything. It doesn't give me any benchmark, nothing. And uh, I still have this, it's like um, IT service providers and software developers come to me and ask me like, Hey Thomas, um, I've been also talking to other agencies, okay? I was like, why? Well, good for you. <laughs> yeah, but now you're talking to me, so you want to do something with me because otherwise I'm wasting my time. Right, right, right. Okay, okay, but this other agency, they're going to offer me like this, 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 blah, 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 so and so many money, uh, euros, uh, so and so many hundred euros per lead. And so I'm like, I'm not interested even in this discussion with you. We can stop right away here because I'm not into lead gen business anymore, like for many, many years. I've never really be, be, been in a pure chili gen business because the competition is way too high. And they just, um, I'm, a, I'm a coaching consulting business who is also helping operative sales and consulting. So I'm combining know-how transfer with operative 
um, support. So I'm in the sales calls myself. My guys are in the sales calls doing the sales for you, doing the marketing for you, doing the content generation for you. At the same time, I'm teaching, transferring with my coaching and consulting business, like uh, how it's done, improving the sales skills of my clients and so on. So this unique skill sets and then hyper-focused on software developers in just some areas like Java, SAP, PHP, Ruby on Rails and so on makes my offering so extremely high pinched valuable, you know? So it's like really, really down to like the top of the, the head of the nail that we just put the hammer on it and then, you know, and then close the deal for our clients. And it's like that hyper focus and hyper niche that makes me so unique, yeah? And I, I really get, give a shit, you know? I don't really care at all how much value one lead is particular and so on, you know? Because, as it turns out, one year later, I was talking to the friend, to the Hungarian friend, uh, one more time from Munich with this security agency, and he said, well, and I asked him, okay, how did that went with this campaign? Yeah, it went, went well, it went well, you know, we did like 180 uh, leads in total over the whole year. They generated for us, I don't know what they used, I think like Google Ads and LinkedIn Ads or something. So, well, okay. That's, that's quite good, that's quite good. Um, so 250 per lead times 180, that's like 45K. Yeah, that's more or less like the budget most mid-sized, small-sized companies have per year for marketing and sales. It's always around like 50, 60K. I don't know why, because it's probably because like uh, one sales guy would more or less cost the same. But anyway, um, so, well, okay, so it was within your budget, planned budget, and now you have like 180 leads. And then I was asking him the next question, okay, how many of these leads you actually turn into a sales call? And then he said, well, it's probably going to be, we haven't had time actually to work through all these leads, and that's the first thing. So what we do for our clients is like, we're not just generating like hundreds of leads, and then our client, it's up to our client to work through these leads. So he needs to hire like additional people or something, yeah? No, I mean, it's like, it's no point if you like hundreds of leads and you don't even have the time to follow them up. What we provide our clients is sales qualified leads. And this is why I'm doing this video because you need to differentiate. You need to differentiate enormously, yeah? Um, between, I think I had it here sometime. Um, I think it was here uh, when I um, like so, I don't know. So it's basically we have like okay, these pens don't work. Okay, that's 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 fucking hilarious. So there's a difference between SQL, which is which is um, a sales. Sales qualified lead and an MQL, which is a marketing qualified lead. Okay, I'm just trying to save some paper here because I'm like a environmentalist. So anyway, so anyway, this is what you really need to understand that a lead, people talking about leads, but a lead is not a lead. Not you know, there's a difference between having. Um, a lead um, and calling it a lead and it's actually some company willing to do a business with you and, it, and we just need to clarify what extent, what the scope is, um, what the price is yeah, and uh, when do we start, like okay how much, to what price and what is the time frame. This is what we call a sales qualified lead. yeah. And marketing qualified leads, I can produce you hundreds and thousands, thousands of marketing qualified leads and not having even a single sales qualified lead. Yeah? If I don't know what I'm doing in the marketing, you know, my sales is going to be extremely tough and extremely hard. Yeah? So what you need, and I recommend that really to any startup or any, any smaller sized business in uh, software developer, don't get advice or don't hire like different people, external agencies or whatever who are specialized. <clears throat> one is specialized in telesales, one is specialized in sales uh, LinkedIn, one is specialized in Google Ads, 
one is specialized in website uh, landing page building. Now get one who knows and understands everything and the interlinkage between all these disciplines that finally leads towards a retaining and paying customer and a very high customer lifetime value because that's feeding back into your entire system into your like wheel of cash flow which is so so necessary for you to win within the first year or two depending on the budget that you have to start up your business and you need a seed money budget whether that's from your own money from your private money or from your parents money or from your wife's money whatever money it is without seed money you cannot start up a business so that's for sure okay and you need to get this cash flow done especially if you're totally fresh yeah or just a freelancer which means basically you, you you're bringing in new um, uh, the only way to bring new cash flow is basically you selling your own time yeah? and at that level a lot of people stay at that level. Why? Because it's the hardest level. Okay? A lot of people are not millionaires. Why? Because it's the hardest thing to do. Yeah? <laughs> it, it is a hard thing to get, to get there and there's a lot of work and there's a lot of you know, things you need to put in and um, I can only recommend you to book like a first meeting with, with us and we discuss more. Okay, see you next time and I hope I made it this, this time very clear um, what the difference is between a lead uh, such as a marketing qualified lead or a sales qualified lead. And we in our business, we even go a step further, we say there's even more differences. So we say we have marketing qualified leads, we have sales qualified leads and then we have SQOs. Yeah, which basically uh, a sales qualified opportunity, okay? And that's basically somebody who's had, just before booking our services, we were able to give him a proposal with our, okay, we have like, oh, no, we have like software developers, juniors, seniors, yeah? Uh, super seniors, superstars, we're charging different amounts of money and so on. And that's like a sales qualified opportunity, it's basically just, before um, turning into a paying customer. So we have like a subtle, slight different uh, categorization on top of it to make it basically in our system CRM, like making it like even more um, easier to work with. Okay, we have, if you, in case you have big, big projects. Okay, see you later, bye bye. And give this video a thumb up and um, let me know if I can help you. Somewhere here is a link to get a strategy, strategy, strategy session, which is totally free of charge. The first half an hour we talk. Sometimes, usually it takes almost an hour. So <laughs> there's a lot to talk about. And we see you in this meeting, hopefully. Bye-bye. Ciao.